hello guys hello guys welcome back to good share tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix the spider-man morale miles morales is having controller or gamepad is not working and how we can fix this up so let's get into this so the first step is all about what we have to do is we have to unplug all the other external devices for example like joystick controllers wheels etc if it's already connected you have to unplug it from your pc or laptop whatever it may be you have to unplug everything launch the game after a little bit of launching just connect it back so by when you're the time of launching it should not be connected so this is a basic step for many users this worked so that's what i'm suggesting guys you can try with this one moving to the next one is you have to restart the game restart the game in the sense you have to close the if you are on the game just close it close steam and just do a restart on your PC, then open the Steam once again. Now play the game once again. And most probably, this might work because a simple restart, I used to say every time, a simple restart used to fix the issue. Moving to the next one is you have to configure the controller. For that, just go over here at the top of the Steam, click on settings. Now from here, select controller, click on general controller settings and go for continue. When you go for continue, as you can see, this is what it is. So if you're already playing the game on PlayStation, check this. If you're not on PlayStation but you're on Xbox, check this. Okay. So if you are playing any gen uh, generic gamepad configuration, so if you're on that, just go for this one. So you have to configure which one you are using. For example, if you're on PlayStation, select this one. If you are playing the game on PlayStation and you have been marked this one, you'll not be having the you'll be having the trouble. So it is quite important. And if you're on any uh, Joy-Con controller, select this one. So you have to configure everything from here. So you have to if you're on PlayStation, just select this one. And if you are not on it, just keep the same. So this is what you have to do. So configuration worked for many of the users and this helped them. So some users, they don't know they have to do this. So they try to play on PlayStation and you know, with the PlayStation configurations also. So they have these kind of errors. So it is very important that you have to configure the controller settings. And moving to the next one is you have to set the gyro behavior to none. For that, just go to the library, select the game. Now from here, what we have to do is we just have to do is just have to click on over here if you come that you can see the controller layout so here it is not there so in your case you can see the control layer because here i have been connected to any controllers so i'm playing on my pc with the keyboard so in your case you will be able to see controller layout so just select the controller layout and once you select the controller layout what we have to do is we just have to uh, you'll be getting to a, another page from there you have to keep the controller layout you can see the controller layout there you just have to change that to none and once it is done, you're good to go with that. You'll not be having the trouble after that. And moving to the next one is all about you have to launch the game. I mean, you have to launch Steam in big picture mode and change. You have to make a few settings over there. For that, you just have to go over here. So you have to see the big picture mode. Here at the icon top right, you can see big picture mode. Just click on that. Go for continue. So as you can see, we are in the big picture mode right now. So from here, what we have to do is we just have to go to the library. Now select the game. And now here we are getting an option called manage game. So go for controller configuration. So here, as I said above in the video, when I get to keep the set gyro behavior to uh, none, I told you that I have in no controllers been uh, currently added to my uh, laptop. So that's why I'm getting this. So in a case, you'll be getting the controller. If you're on Xbox or PlayStation, you'll be getting the option. So from there, you just have to set the controller to none you can do that uh, when you get into that you can uh, you can understand that so in, in my case it is not there so just select the respective controller option configuration option so you'll be getting another page from there just set the controller configuration to none that is what you have to do okay you have to game action to should be changed to none and that is very important step and uh, nothing else over here so that is quite important step over here so that is what you have to do and now we have to exit the steam click over here and exit big picture so now we are on the steam and the last and the least one is all about you have to disable steam input so for disabling the steam input select the respective game right click over here go to properties and now as you can see what we have to do is we just have to go to the controller so right now as you can see use default setting the screen setting use default setting so just change this to disable steam input after disabling steam input many users when they try to launch the game this worked for them so even after you try with this particular one that is changing the controller into disable steam input and if it's still not working with you guys you can change this back to 
uh, this one use default setting so if it's not the same you can change this to disable stream input and check with that if it's after changing to stream, disable stream input if it's still not working change this to use default setting so that is what you have to do and these are the basic step which you have to try out and most probably after trying these steps the issue regarding this must be working out and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye